Africa is a vast continent with a population of over 1.4 billion people. It is home to some of the world's most valuable natural resources. Aliko Dangote, Africa's richest man and the richest black person worldwide, has built his fortune by tapping into these resources. He is president and chairman of the Dangote Group, a conglomerate with interests in over 18 subsidiaries, including cement, sugar, flour, salt, fertilizer, oil, and gas. Dangote was born in Nigeria in 1957. He comes from a wealthy family as his grandfather was a successful trader. Dangote started as a trader at an early age, selling fast-moving candy for profit. He soon began importing commodities into Nigeria and other countries. According to Forbes list, Dangote is now worth an estimated $14 billion, ranked 130 on the list as of June 2022. He plans to expand his business empire further and is currently building a $10 billion oil refinery in Nigeria. When completed, it will be the largest oil refinery in Africa. Most of the entrepreneur's wealth comes from his 85% controlling stake in Dangote Cement, the continent's biggest cement manufacturer. My name is Ava with the Money Monkey Africa, and this is how Dangote makes his billions around Africa. We are giving you lots of ideas around popular folks and how they make their money. So please subscribe and hit on that notification bell. Let us start with the cash cow, which is cement manufacturing. The Dangote Group is the largest cement producer in the world with a significant presence in over 10 African countries. The company produces around 49 million metric tons of cement annually. Dangote Cement's 65% market share in Nigeria gives it the power to set commodity prices throughout the nation. And it has leveraged this power to earn significant profits. The gross margin on its cement was around 70% a few years back, but had since fallen to just under 50% in 2016. In 2015, global cement profit margins were 17.2% according to a Bloomberg Intelligence study, but Dangote Cement boasted a margin of 4 to 2.3 percent. A 2016 World Bank study found that individuals in other countries pay 183 percent less for a 50 kilo of cement than it goes for in Africa. For instance, the cement prices in Africa were around $9.57 while other countries paid $3 for the same quantity. In 2017, the Dangote Group subsidiary generated approximately $2.2 billion in revenue. The cement industry has also been a source of employment for most Africans, employing around 24,000 employees. In the 49 metric tones, Nigeria alone produces around 32 metric tones. The group's earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization from cement in 2020 sum to 478 billion naira. Dangote Cement also runs the largest coal mining in Nigeria. It is one of Africa's top producers, using coal to generate power rather than natural gas because of the scarcity of gas supply. The firm and the Nigerian economy benefit from the coal mining program, lowering the demand for foreign exchange and enabling the nation to retain existing employment opportunities while creating new ones. Moving on, everyone likes cakes and everything sweet. Dangote is in the sweet business or as we are going to call it, sugar refining. When Dangote moved into production in 1999, he constructed sugar refineries and a flour mill. Dangote Sugar's stock debuted on the Nigerian Stock Exchange in 2010, and sales increased fourfold to $450 million, making it Africa's largest sugar refinery and, by some accounts, the world's second largest. Similarly, Dangote Flour's revenue grew threefold to $270 million. The leading sugar refinery in Nigeria brought in a revenue of 150 billion naira in 2018, with a production capacity of 1.4 metric tons. The sugar subsidiary boasts of employing around 10,000 employees. That is how Dangote makes money in sweet things. How about infrastructure? Dangote Industries Limited is also involved in the construction of roads, bridges, and other infrastructural projects. The company has built several asphalt plants across Nigeria. His companies have constructed roads linking major cities such as Lagos, Abuja, Kano, and Port Harcourt. In 2014, the Dangote Group signed a $3.3 billion deal with the Chinese state-owned China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation to build a standard-gauge railway line from Lagos to Kalava. 
the railway line transports Dangote's products, including cement, sugar, and flour, to other parts of Nigeria. Dangote is the contractor for Nigeria's longest concrete road project, the Obijana to Kaba Road in Kogi State, covering 43 kilometers. The 73 billion Naira initiative includes sections of dual carriageway connecting the north and the south. The group has also completed another 26 kilometers of Itori to Ibis Road. The company is currently working on a 35 kilometer route. If you think Dangote is only into sweet things, let me tell you that he is into salt and seasonings. The Dangote group is also involved in the production of salt and seasonings. The company has a significant market share in the production of salt, spices, and seasonings in Nigeria. Naskin, a member of the Dangote Group established in 1973, is one of Nigeria's most popular salt brands. According to the company reports, it has a production capacity of about 600,000 metric tons. In 2017, the company had a turnover of 25 billion naira. The subsidiary currently has only 500 employees across Africa. Let us now turn to farming. Dangote is into fertilizer too and big time for that matter. The Dangote Group has also invested in several agriculture projects. The company has built several fertilizer plants in Nigeria that produce fertilizers used by farmers to increase crop yields. The company has also made warehouses across Nigeria to store grains such as rice, maize, and wheat. For instance, the Dangote Fertilizer Plant is the continent's largest granulated urea fertilizer factory. In Lagos, Nigeria, the plant covers 500 hectares of land and cost about $3 billion to construct. The firm has ties to corporate farms, farmer associations, blenders, NGOs, and development partners, and state governments across the continent. These ties help achieve sustainable strategies for improving farm soil and yields. Dangote Fertilizer Complex was established to produce 3 million metric tons of urea fertilizer in Phase 1. According to reports, this can be accomplished by increasing sales and investing in other countries where prices are higher than Nigeria's market price but lower than worldwide cost levels. Rice Farming Dangote Rice Limited customizes catchment regions to meet the needs of paddy rice. The company uses direct outreach, agent-based models and aggregation to scale up. These strategies are also the affiliate company's core pillars. The farms included secure food supply and utilized open markets to balance supply with demand. With this sourcing strategy, the firm is expected to produce a huge supply of paddy rice, hire over 100,000 farmers, and improve food security. The success in this industry will, in return, increase Dangote's net worth a notch higher. Dangote Petroleum Refinery This is going to be huge. The Dangote Petroleum Refinery takes up about 3,000 hectares of land, roughly six times the size of Victoria Island in Nigeria. The oil refinery has been under construction since 2016 and will begin operations in quarter 4 of 2022. The firm is estimated to produce 700,000 barrels per day, making it one of the largest oil producers in Africa. The refinery will be able to satisfy 100% of the country's demand for refined products, as well as have a surplus of each. The pipeline infrastructure, spanning a thousand kilometers, is the largest worldwide. It handles three billion standard cubic feet of gas per day. The refinery features a 400 megawatts power plant. Lastly, let us look at automotive. The conglomerate is also in a joint automotive venture with Sinatruck. The $10 million plant assembles vehicles in Nigeria to meet local demand and export. Dangomi owns 65% while Sinatruck owns 35%. In addition, the group is in business with Shackman Truck Assemblers, the transit support services, where Dangote Group is 90% the fleet customer. The investment is worth over 60 billion naira. In conclusion, Dangote's investments are a testament to his belief in the African continent. The billionaire has invested heavily in many industries, including salt, fertilizer, rice, and oil. These investments are expected to help grow the Nigerian economy and create local jobs. What do you think of Dangote's investment strategy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. My name is Ava with the Money Monkey, and this is how Dangote mints his billions. Subscribe, hit that notification bell because more inspiration is on the way.